Live from the TVNZ Network Center, it's the 2005 EML Awards. Kiora, good evening. Hello. Tonight, we present the jewel in the crown of the awards season, the 2005 EML Awards. Brought together with the help of producers, actors, reporters, and you, the viewers. We also pay tribute to the nation's broadcasters, whether they be embattled and state-owned, or smug and Canadian, or indeed stuck on a shitty UHF band about to be gobbled up by Sky. And without further ado, to tonight's first award. Best final episode. And the nominees are... I'm just going to, uh, just going to move you. Oh, Trimbush. What? Tremendous. The Green Wing, Series 1. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey, hey. The Sports Cafe, Grand Finale. One. Hell's Kitchen, Final Episode. Outrageous Fortune, Final Montage. And the winner is... Sports Cafe. We've got the full emotional rap. <laughs> Most disturbing image of the year. And the nominees are British Soldiers on Fire Iraq, Truck Driver Hammer Attack New Zealand, Iraqi civilians being shot by contractors. Next time, just watch your timing a little bit. Alison Audrey Nee Leonard, The Wink. And the winner is Iraqi civilians being shot by contractors. This grim but carefully filmed video continues with another approaching Iraqi car subjected to the same deadly treatment. It crashes into a parked taxi. People run for their lives from the taxi. It's not clear if the occupants of the first vehicle. The Fizzing at the Bunghole Award. The award was first presented in 1994 when Janet McIntyre fizzed all over Billy Ray Cyrus. From the second that I stepped on stage, I do what I do. So you are this very sensual, se sexy person, then. This year's nominees are... <laughs> Susan Wood for fizzing all over Martin Henderson. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rove! John Campbell for sucking off Rove. She's just given me most incredible joy. Overwhelmed Melbourne Cup jockey Glenn Boss. I decided though when I wrote Fish Called Wanda that <clears throat> the only way I would ever get the girl at the end of the movie is if I wrote right the script. Me. Yes, exactly. Uh... Susan Wood for John Cleese Fizz. And the winner is... Overwhelmed Melbourne Cup jockey, Glenn Box. Sorry for crying, but just, this is a moment I'll take to my grave. It's your day, mate. It's yours and hers. You've just been such a good partnership all the way through. Oh. Everybody in Australia, the world has been with you today. Oh, darling, we've done it again. I can't believe it. I wonder if we appreciate what we're seeing here. This is true greatness. This mayor is a blessing from God. And we've all been privileged to see something here today that none of us will ever see again. The tantrum, dummy spit or bitch fit, is the pinnacle of performance. Get it right and the moment will resonate for years to come. Like when Holmes snapped at those kids during the shearing of Shrek, or when Mallard told the Australians to stick a Heineken up their collective anuses, or A9. Bitch fit of the year. The nominees are... Let's go, I'm gonna talk first over here. Peter Dunn for election night tantrum. Be oh, quiet, quiet, everybody. Be quiet. quiet. That's what is wrong. Tyra Banks, America's next top model. Don't fucking start arguing. Gordon Ramsay for don't fucking start arguing. Wanker, wanker. Hira Huata for wanker, wanker. To present this year's bitch fit of the year, a man who's known for his short fuse and outrageous tantrums, often leading to torture and death. Please welcome via satellite former Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein, who joins us now live from Baghdad. Firstly, I would like to say I do not recognize these awards. However, the winner is... Tyra Banks, America's Next Top Model. I have never in my life the 
daughter to grow like this. When my mother yells at this, it's because she loves me. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? Outstanding moment in a reality series. And the nominees are... The atmosphere in the wing has grown volatile. Locked down for cell invasion. And just to give you an idea what it is like, this is how it goes. Ha, 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 ha. And louder. Neighbors at war, laughing Indian. Remarkable vets, cat with fucked legs. These two accused their Fiji and Indian neighbors of all sorts of stuff, like eating whiskers for dinner, and we don't mean jelly meat. Neighbors at war, cat curry. And the winner is Neighbors at war, cat curry. Well, being Indians, they could eat them, I don't know. Cat Kandori. Cat can curry. Oh, if you like, cat Rojan. Yeah. We know what we're eating. She doesn't know what she's eating. She could be eating the dog meat. Just for the record, I hope you're not offended if I ask you this, but you don't eat cats, do you? No, we don't eat no, cats. No, I didn't think you would, no. It's almost laughable, isn't it? Yes. It's like saying, do they eat their budgies? That's right. Yes, yeah. I don't think they eat their budgies. No, they don't. No. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Nazi of the Year. The nominees are Prince Harry for Harry the Nazi. So the term mud, what does that refer to? A non-white. A non-white. Yes, yeah. Lynx and Lamb. Pope Benedict. And the winner is Lynx and Lamb, the Nazi version of Sarah Kate and Ashley. The girls have been performing before all white crowds since they were nine years old. When the girls are with friends, they say they like to hang out and sometimes play video games. But one of the video games Lynx and Lamb play at home is called Ethnic Cleansing and involves killing people of color. Tell me what, it, what happens in Ethnic Cleansing. You kill, um, you kill all blacks and then you try to get to this one area after yeah. Skinheads are going through a ghetto shooting blacks and Mexicans. Right. Who made yeah, who make gorilla sounding noises. Yeah. It's kind of fun. And when it came time to entertain a foreign television crew recently, April and the girls chose what they call a playful game of dance around the swastika. Outstanding achievement in a facial expression. The nominees are Perry Weepu for The Cutting Edge. Next time, just watch your timing a little bit. Yes. Alison Leonard, knee Audrey, the wink. Talk of these pressures caused Tel Telstra's price to fall 3% and Telecom to fall also. Stephen Wright, ASB Securities, TV3. David Benson Pope, Labour Party. And the winner is David Benson Pope. He misled the public of New Zealand and he's misled his parliamentary colleagues. And will he now simply do the decent thing and resign? Madam Speaker. Uh, the Honourable David Benson no Pope. No and no. Clearly an uncomfortable day for Benson Pope. Ride of the Year. The nominees are Holmes for Bentley Turbo. Don Brash, Speedway Car. Rodney Hyde. The Hyde Mobile. Insidious Fix Guy for Mini Chopper. And the winner is Rodney Hyde, Hyde Mobile. And to accept the award live is MP for Epsom, Rodney Hyde. Uh, hey, Jeremy. Oh, stay, stay in the car. Sorry, stay in the oh. car. Stay in the car. Coming up, the New Zealander of the Year Award, when the 2005 EML Awards continue. Welcome back to the 2005 EML Awards. They say that the eyes are the window to the soul, but the mouth is the gateway to the throat, and from there it's a short journey to the gut, and a hop, skip and a jump to the popper. Most intriguing mouth. The nominees are Lila Hare, National Distribution Union. Carly Kirkwood, Nightline. 
Former Pogue singer Shane McGowan. A flounder, Paralictus albiguta. And the winner is... This is what we're supposed to look like in show business. <laughs> Shane McGowan. Give me a break. <laughs> Have you never thought about it? Want to try it again? <laughs> Smile. Freak of the Week Award for services to voyeurism. And the nominees are... I'm 70, he's 31, Woman's Day. Trapped in a two-year-old body, Woman's Day. 22 kg arm, Woman's Day. Conjoined twins, Woman's Day. And the winner is... 22 kg arm. The judges commended the Woman's Day for bringing back all the fun of the old-time freak shows. Most Wooden Performance. The nominees are... Hi, everyone. Once again, a cloudy day for most of us. Brendan Horan, One Weather. Don Brash, for Speedway Car. And um, it seems to be making good money in investing premium income. Mike. Stephen Wright, ASB Securities, TV3. That was uh, powerful, it was beautiful, and I really felt it too. Tim Ferriss, in excess rock star. And the winner is Brendan Horan. Brendan, how's it looking? I'm not going to tell you, Wendy. <laughs> Just joking. Hi, everyone. Once again, a cloudy day for most of us. This morning, I knew I was in Auckland because I got caught in a traffic jam on a Sunday. Like many New Zealanders, this show has been guilty of making fun of born-again Christians. This year, to make amends and in the spirit of brotherhood, we reach out with a special award for Christian of the Year. Christian of the Year. And the nominees are... Bishop Brian Tamaki. Petra Bagust. Oh! The Reverend Graham Capel. Now, you are a Christian. Simon Barnett. And the winner is... Simon Barnett. In fact, when I did Celebrity Treasure Island on television, um, the first year I was offered that job, I turned it down because I just felt like God said no, and I couldn't quite work that out. But I turned it down because I really felt it was God saying it, so I said no. And the following year, I prayed about it when they asked me to do it again, and I felt God said yes, and I couldn't quite work out why God would change his mind like that. So, why did God change his mind? I'm joined now by a theologian, Courtney Ward. Courtney, why would God change his mind about Simon doing Celebrity Treasure Island? Hard to say. God works in mysterious ways. Surely this is pretty mysterious, though. Yes. So why did God advise Simon to do Sing Like a Superstar? I doubt he was talking to God on that occasion. More the work of Satan, perhaps? Hard to say, but having seen the show, it clearly wasn't God. Courtney Ward, thank you. Best use of, uh, in a televised sentence. The nominees are... Uh, Don Brash. Uh, Don Brash. Uh, Don Brash. Uh, Princess Fiona. And the winner is... Princess Fiona. Uh, what a celebrity. Let's put the, put the score on the map. Caught, or rather rescued, a fortnight ago from the Southland Hills, this once unloved shaggy ewe was dubbed Princess Fiona to match that other woolly sheep from central Otago named Shrek. Best piece to camera. The nominees are... Jennifer Curtis, pole dancing, one news. It's classified as a military-style semi-automatic rifle that requires a special endorsement. Natalie Crook, gun, one news. Charlie can impregnate his mum Liz at only three weeks of age. Natalie Crook, guinea pigs, one news. Don't you wish you had your weight back? Bob Labia, Hurricane Katrina. And the winner is Jennifer Curtis pole dancing, one news. You have to make sure that you're dressed for the occasion. Ideally, you should wear your tiniest shorts because you need the bare flesh to be able to grip to the pole. Jennifer Curtis, One News. Woohoo, give up that day job, Jennifer. Eyes of the Year. The nominees are Christina, America's Next Top Model. 
Anthony Dixon for Crazy Trial Eyes. And in Australia, there's continued regulatory pressure to reduce the prices it charges on its fixed lines. Stephen Wright, ASB Securities TV3. R. Kelly's The Cat, Remarkable Bets, Episode 3. And the winner is Anthony Dixon for Crazy Trial Eyes. Dixon's eyes were so good, they sparked a range of t-shirts. But even with the haircut combo, he still couldn't wiggle out of the porridge. Comeback of the year. The nominees are Saddam Hussein from Spider Hole to Courtroom. Coke fiend turned comeback kid Diego Maradona. Mark Ellis, smooth on the come down. Why the hell didn't you come and shake my hand when it's not election time? Rodney Hyde. And the winner is Mark Ellis. So smooth on the come down. He ended the year with a skinful on the Sports Cafe final, talking about how he had a skinful on an earlier Sports Cafe. And why not? He <laughs> feels like a. You've really bulked yeah. up. Yeah. Mittens is got nothing on you, man. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with, with the team. <laughs> TAB said 37 points, they uh, are wrong, 45 points. We said less. So what do you reckon going into this? Uh... What do you think, Mark? G given the options they had available, Rick, um, I think essentially the right decisions have been made. Mel Meninga was two steps with the eyebrow lock and then the... Very good. And I, I would like to confess that I was absolutely coming. I can't even read the show. <laughs> the Own Goal Award. The nominees are Susan Wood with her fiance Kevin Stanley. TVNZ for Susan Wood Pay Dispute. Well, it's perhaps because we don't uh, lie down and roll over as some people do for the baubles and perks of office. Winston Peters, baubles. The Kiwi Dumb and Dumber bank robbers in Colorado. The boy racers who posted this footage on the internet. And the winner is the boy racers internet own goal. Police got complaints from overseas and around New Zealand when the video appeared on the net. It showed the car on a Christchurch back street doing wheelies and eventually crashing. The 21-year-old driver was tracked down through his car registration and has been disqualified and ordered to do community work. Due to time constraints and security concerns, the following awards were presented at a ceremony earlier today. Most innovative use of a Muppet song in an obituary or eulogy. Close up TV1. It's not easy being green. The Harawira of the Year. Hone Harawira. I thought your performance on the leaders' debate was gentlemanly, but I think the racism of your speech inside belittled you. Just wanted to make that comment. Best prisoner in a reality series. Raymond from Lockdown TV1. Not my understand. Do it now. Best Makeover Show. Pimp My Cock, MTV. Welcome back to Pimp My Cock. It's five days later. Bubba's new cock is finished. It's time for the big reveal. Bubba can't believe his brand new cock. Let's see how they did it. Bubba's cock received three piercings. A chemical peel, tattooed flame, a twin testicle neon's been fitted, and his foreskin has been completely reconditioned. What a dog! And TV2 will begin screening Pimp My Cock February 30. Coming up, 
the New Zealander of the Year Award when the 2005 EML Awards continue. Come on, guys. Somebody must have remembered to bring the Negro. Do I look fit in this? You just passed this. Better wind the window down then. You're right. He does have his father's eyes. Clunk! Welcome back to the 2005 EML Awards. And finally, to the final award of the 2005 EML Awards. The New Zealander of the Year. Previous winners include Pine Tree Meads, Sir Edmund Hillary and Coupe. And since the abolition of knighthoods, it's now considered the ultimate accolade of Aotearoa. Let's have a look at this year's nominees. The New Zealander of the Year Award. And the nominees are... To all you Kiwi supporters, yeah! Bluey McLennan. Now, I feel natural. <laughs> this feels totally normal. Jessie gonna What do you think you'd like to do in your with your future? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Tiffany Pickford, Miss Earth, New Zealand. Mike. Stephen Wright, thank you. Stephen Wright, ASB Securities. And to present the award for New Zealander of the Year, live from Tauranga, please welcome Bob Clarkson's left testicle. How's it going? Jesus, I'm so hungry, I could eat the snatch off a rag doll. <laughs> the winner of New Zealander of the Year is... Envelope, please. Oh, can you give me a scratch? Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. And the winner is... Stephen Wright, ASB Securities, TV3. The judges said that while Stephen was not a naturally gifted broadcaster, he epitomised the great Kiwi tradition of sticking at something no matter what. Kiwi courage in excelsius that puts many highly paid professionals to shame. Stephen Wright, New Zealander of the Year. In reduced profit, today they re-estimated that and said that the reduced cost was only $60 million, so $40 million added to the bottom line. Um, because... Um, uh, this, this is good news. The airline sector is the worst in the world and um, shareholders were very happy with this, uh, with this good news. Stephen Mike. Wright, thank you. And that's our show. From all of us here at Eating Media Lunch, to you and those dear to you, in all seriousness, have a ha, 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 ha. For fuck's sake, Jeremy! Rodney, which MP do you think deserves an award? Oh, Benton Pope. Um, I think he deserves an award for sure. Can I just stop you there for a second? Ready now. This show was made with funding from New Zealand On Air. 